I'm Jennifer Caruso and we're going to do a merch haul here. I have been um, to Disney uh, World in um, Orlando, Florida a couple of times and I picked up some really cool merch there. And I also picked up some merch in South Florida at the Disney Character Warehouse at the Sawgrass Mills Mall, um, which is near Fort Lauderdale in Sunrise, Florida. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of time here and kind of show you what I got that I'm really excited about. So this weekend, I got the 100th anniversary lamp. So let me see if you can see that box. And um, it is a water tower and it's the water tower at the Walt Disney Studios and it is a 100th year anniversary lamp and it's powered by USB. Can you see that? Okay, that's helping me film. You can tell me forward, backwards. <laughs> is that still? Forward, yeah. Okay, all right. Right there. Right there? Yeah. So this is gonna go on my desk. I just think, I just thought this was an awesome um, lamp. And you know, where I found this, um, it was difficult to find um, at Disney World. Um, I located it. Uh, there is a, a little shop um, behind where the photos are, right? If you come in from this train station and you go up on the porch near where Tony's restaurant is and you go in there and there's photos and then you keep on walking back and there's a gift shop back there. They have all kinds of things, ears and uh, collectibles and things like that. And they had the lamps back there. I do know they've been at the World of Disney as well at Disney Springs, um, but we didn't find them really anywhere else in Epcot or the Magic Kingdom. So, um, if you like the lamp, uh, the lamp was not cheap. It was $99, but I got a pass holder discount of 20% on that. But I think it's a collectible. I really like it. There is one thing I was a little disappointed with on the lamp. This logo right here is not painted on there. It is, uh, I don't know, can I move it closer? Um, it is on there with like a sticker. So it's just my hope that it stays that way and it doesn't come off and um, that it stays, uh, you know, it stays nice like that. And I, I don't think this gets too hot because it's a small bulb, bulb Ron. What kind of bulb is it? It's, it's like, a low par USB. It, it will, the sticker will never come off. It's perfect. <laughs> okay. All right. And it won't get too hot, right? Right. right. Okay, good, good. All right, so the next thing I got was at the Epcot Festival of the Arts, and it is a um, painting of the castle and Main Street. Um, you can see the 50th on the castle. I wanted something this year with the 50th on it because it's going to be gone. And um, I just loved the look of Main Street on there. They have the balloons and, and the people. I, I just thought it was so pretty. And um, that has, uh, even though Thomas Kincaid has passed on, his family has, um, you know, kept on the company. And he had many artists working for him. And so they're still making, um, they're still putting out uh, great art um, at the Thomas Kincaid gallery. So that's that. And I don't know if you can see up here. Can you see over here, Ryan? Yes. Um, I have Tinkerbell there from last year. And this is going to go right below Tinkerbell. So that is my Thomas Kincaid. I can move that over here. Sorry. All right. And moving on with the 100th anniversary. I've but I got a hat. I thought this hat was really cute. I'm not really a big fan of gray, but um, I did like this. And it, you know, just has Walt Disney World on the back and 100 with the Mickey and the purple and this shirt. Can you see the shirt then? Okay. This shirt to go with it. 
and um, it has uh, Disney 100 down the sleeve as well as Mickey and Minnie and Disney 100, 100 Years of Wonder on the bottom. And I just really, really like the shirt. And you know this shirt, it's, I, I would say, um, if you go to pick up this shirt, get like true to size, like, because I think, I got a small in this and it's, it's big. I usually wear a medium, but the small's big. So maybe go one size down. Cause I think it's like unisex. It doesn't really say men or women. So I found the smalls a little, a little big, and usually I'll wear a medium in a shirt. Um, all right, so we have those two things. And I picked up these ears. Can you see the 50th on the run? Yes. There's, there's right in the black, black on black. It's embroidered. Yeah, it says, uh, well, it's like stamped in the yeah. leather. Okay. It says uh, 50th. And... I particularly like them because they're black and gold and we're Pittsburgh Steeler and Pittsburgh Steelers. Penguins and Pittsburgh Pirate fans. So um, I've got a lot of that gear and these ears, I always wear my Pittsburgh Steeler gear when they're playing or a penguin gear um, when we're in the, uh, when we're in Disney and I will have some matching ears now. Up until now, I've only had hats, and they haven't been Disney hats, but I thought these were cute. And these, these I actually got this in the same store as the lamp, and they were a little pricey. They were $44, but I don't, <gasps> I don't buy things unless I really, really love them when I'm in the parks. And if you don't get it when you see it, they'll be gone, and then you'll be sorry. But if I kind of like something and want it, but it's not like a must have, then I like to wait and go to the character warehouse and I'll show you some things that I got there recently. Oh yes, um, this is, look at our cute figment. We, I got this figment bucket in Epcot a few weeks ago and um, they didn't tell me how to open it, but luckily, Somebody in my party that we were with knew, and to open the back of this popcorn bucket, you have to press down on the nose, and there's how it opens. Did you, were you able to see that okay? Yeah. Okay, so, yep, press down, open. But I thought that was really cute. Figment's become very popular in that cut. All right. Now, um, this is another 50th, and I got this at the Character Warehouse. I'm going to move this light a little out of the way here. And this has um, Walt Disney World on the back, and on the front it has um, the 50th Castle. It has Walt Disney World on the front. It's long sleeves. It's not really a spirit jersey. It's a hoodie, and it's black and gold again, which will go really great with these ears. Double, it's doing double duty, the ears, Ron. Sports, <laughs> and we'll go with it. So anyway, my husband, Ron, he's been, he was after me. As soon as this came out, he wanted me to get this. Well, it was $129.99 for the top and the pants. That go with it in the park, and I wouldn't get it. Well, both were one twenty nine. Well, each one, yeah. yeah. So it's two over two hundred sixty bucks. Yeah, I mean, you can see the sticker on here. I don't know. Can you? Is it close enough that if I bring it way Little, up to the camera? Right there. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see one twenty nine ninety nine marked down to twenty four ninety nine at the character warehouse. So same with this. This top was marked down to $29.99. Um, it was just a $5 more. And this was, can I see it? $29.99. And um, so at that price, I said, yeah, okay, because really in South Florida, um, you can only wear this so much, but I think I would like it, you know, when we have these cold days, it will be nice to wear 
um, into the parks. And um, I would even wear this on a Steeler game day, black and gold with my ears. I'd <laughs> be all set. All right, so that was a good deal. They also had at the Character Warehouse some holiday merch, and I got this cup that I thought was really cute. Can you see it? Good, yeah. It has, um, it, it's a winter scene. It's Christmas, it says dashing through the snow, and um, it has all the characters on it, even Chip. Chip and Dale are on it, Pluto, Mickey, Minnie, Goof, Donald, really cute, and it is um, insulate, I mean, it's a stainless steel insulated cup, and this was at the Character Warehouse, and it was marked down from $27.99 to $12.99, so I like my coffee out of these cups, I thought this was really cute, I put it in my Christmas box, and I'll pull it out during the holiday season. I also was looking at this jersey in um, the Magic Kingdom the whole time it was there and in Epcot and in the world of Disney. This was um, real popular. Can you see that, Ron? Mm -hmm. okay. And um, Walt Disney World was on the back. It is a spirit jersey and was very expensive. Spirit jerseys are very expensive. And this was marked down to $29.99. Um, at the character warehouse. So I'm sorry for all of you that bought it at the full <laughs> retail price, but um, you know, I'll have it for next year and I don't mind wearing last year's season no merchandise the following year, right? Because we don't just wear it one year and throw it away. All right, so that is my Christmas merch that I got. And next, I have some Halloween. Let me get this over here. Um, this is also from the Character Warehouse here, and I've got the um, the Happy Halloween shirt this year. Uh, I didn't get it. My son got one. We did go to the Halloween party, and he wore his, but now I have one to match. Can you see it all? Yeah? Okay, good. And that was regularly $29.99 marked down to $12.99. And so I have that for next Halloween. And these are ears as well. I really think these ears were, we were debating because the price isn't on them, but I really think they were, I want to say $4.99, maybe $7.99, but they were very, very inexpensive and I thought they were cute with that shirt. Okay, this is unbelievable here. And it's a lounge fly. I got it at the Character Warehouse. I was looking at it, like I said, all during Halloween season. It was originally um, $75. And at the Character Warehouse, I got this for $29.99. And it is the Halloween, it's the Halloween lounge fly. And let me take off the... I really didn't unpack this yet. <laughs> so there it is. And it, it, it's, it's a full size lounge fly. I love it that it's the full size. It's big. It has the big front pocket here that, you know, you can get your phone in. You can get a lot in it. And it also has the nice two side pockets here. And of course the strap here um, and it has lots of room inside let me oh it's still all stuffed with paper but I'll show you the um, the lining how cute the lining is so we all know that well maybe we all don't know it but Halloween at Disney it's a long season so everybody can get a chance to go to the Halloween party um, so this will get a good full two months. When's it start? September 1st? Of you. Yeah, well, it or starts. In Labor Day. I even want to say maybe in August they mm. start decorating. But um, definitely by the 1st of September. So you have two full months, and I'll get a lot of use out of this. And I'll have it for many years.
Very cute. Okay, and I have this. I didn't show the price on this lounge foot, did I? But here's the regular price. $75, and it was uh, $29.99. Um, this is another Halloween purchase, and it is a decoration. It's a wreath. Let me get it out of the wrapping. This might need to move back here to see it all. Can you see it? Isn't it cute? It's heavy. It's wooden and it has all the characters on it and um, it just makes a really, really cute door decoration uh, for Halloween. And this was on sale um, from $49.99, which I'll show you this ticket here. Can you see that? Oh. $49.99. And the box here, $19.99. So there are some really good deals. If there's things that you like, but you say, eh, too pricey, you can always take your chances and wait and um, check out the Character Warehouse. And there's two of those in Orlando as well. Okay, and... I kind of started on the road um, of pins. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what are you laughing at, Rod? Um, I, I met, uh, well, I haven't met her in person, but Cinder Alley uh, loves Disney, Alley. She, um, she has a channel and she's a, an avid pin collector. And I ran into um, Allie on the Pete McDivitt show I was watching and Pete had her on and she regularly is featured on his uh, show usually Friday nights. You can check out the Pete McDivitt show on Fridays and look for Cinder Alley. And um, she got me into pins. And so I've got some, some pins and I'm I'm not sure how I'm going to show these because I probably have to hold them up pretty close. This is a 50th pin here. And um, it's just pretty. I just like it. It's a 50th pin. And um, so I picked up one of those. It has Mickey on it. And it's a pass holder pin. So it's uh, Walt Disney 50th pass holder. So I thought that was nice. I, um, I picked up this limited edition um, pen on parade. It's also a 50th. And something like this was $24.99 if, if you want to look at the price. Then I kind of discovered that I really like pins that had motion. And when you're collecting pins, I think you need to like, you need to get it down to, <laughs> well, you can buy whatever you like, but if you kind of go down a road and you kind of stay in that, that tunnel, I want to say, um, then, you know, you're not getting too carried away with the pins. And so I, I kind of said to myself, well, I think I'm going to go with pins with just motion. And so this is the Walt Disney World. Um, here, Walt Disney World on the front, and when you open it, you see a picture of the castle. So I just call these pins with motion, and it's cute. It has a little door on it. You open it up, you see the castle. All right, and I have a few of those. This is an autograph. Um, this is a little autograph book. It has a little pen on it, and when you open it up, it has all your favorite characters. Is that a good point to see, Ron? Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. So that was a cute pin. Who all signed it? Okay, let's see. We have, I think we have, you know, the gang. We have um, Donald Duck. 
We've got Chip, we've got Daisy Dog, Minnie Mouse, Goofy, your pal Mickey Mouse, and Pluto. Yeah. Mickey Mouse has the best spot right in the middle there. See? Featured. <laughs> but on your main autograph book, Goofy took Mickey's yeah, spot. Yeah, Goofy took his spot. That's true, he did. Yeah, I thought this was really cute too, this one here. Um... This is just a picture of the castle here. And if you open up, there's a picture in there of Walt Disney. And there's an inscription that says, it's kind of fun to do the impossible, Walt Disney. How about if I put that inscription right there? Is that visible? You could see. Yeah. Okay, and then the last pin that I have with motion is Tinkerbell. Tink? <laughs> yeah, Tinkerbell. And inside, you can just kind of see there's like an outline of Tinkerbell there, and then there's a signature, Tinkerbell. Well, I thought that was cute. And then I ran into just a couple more uh, pins in the character warehouse of um, a couple of the villains that I do like. And there's the Beast. Beast is not a villain. Yeah, the Beast was, well. He's a good he's guy. Like, yeah, he, he is, but in the beginning he was a little he's one villainous of my favorite. when he well, He captured... just got a bad temper, he's miserable. <laughs> <laughs> Maurice, okay. And then here we have uh, Gaston too. And, of course, Gaston was a villain. Okay. But yeah, the beast was good in the end. And then this was just cute. This was a limited um, release that I happened to get on sale at the Character Warehouse. And um, it's just Daisy. It's, it's a little Easter egg pin. And that's it for me with pins and with my merch. And... Thank you for watching. If you are new to my channel, my name is Jennifer Caruso. Um, I do a lot of Disney content. My husband Ron and I live stream from the Disney parks as well as other locations. We do travel and adventure as vit vlogs and live streams. Uh, so if you like what you see uh, on my channel, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Ring the notification bell and you will be um, notified when I go live or when I post new content. Thank you.